Okay, so I wanted to, since we are getting to the end of this lunation, tomorrow is the um, the last Sabbath of this lunation, um, I thought that I would do a quick video and go into Stellarium and kind of show you um, what that looks like. So remember, just to review in the book of Enoch, chapter 74, verse 4, her first phase, talking about the moon, in the east comes forth on the 30th morning. Remember, because your cycles, your lunar cycles, according to Enoch, are 29 days or 30 days. If they're 29 days, then the 30th day um, is the first day of the new cycle. So that is the day that um, the moon becomes visible or um that the light rises in her which is what we're about to read her first phase in the east comes forth on the 30th morning and on that day she becomes visible and constitutes for you the first phase of the moon on the 30th day then in chapter 77 12 or i think in other some versions it's 78 12 and on the first day she is called the new moon for in that day the light rises on her Okay, so the day that the light becomes visible in the moon is the new moon or the first day of the new um, lunar cycle. Okay, so let's just go ahead and take a look um, in Stellarium and see what that looks like. Um, but first, let's go to the calendar. Hang on, so let me just hit page down a few times to find where I put that calendar that I'm looking for. It's a... Um, there it is, February. So this is the month that we're in. So tomorrow is the, well, actually today, because it's one o'clock in the morning. I have a sick child that I'm watching out for right now. So I'm up late listening to him cough. <laughs> oh, anyway. Um, the So today is Sunday the 19th, okay? And it happens to be the Sabbath. This is the fourth Sabbath of the previous lunar cycle or the lunar cycle that we're in. Okay, so um, after this Sabbath at the end of tomorrow, then we begin looking for the new moon. And remember, I, we, I told you that the new moon can either happen here because it's a 29 day cycle or it can happen here because it's a 30 day cycle. So let's go look at Stellarium and see what we see. So we'll actually start, I think, on the 18th day, just to let you see how the sun and the moon play with each other here um, as this um, transition begins to happen. So going into Stellarium, and sometimes it takes a second to load Stellarium. I should have already had this one, this thing turned on. Okay, so now that we're in Stellarium, all right, I am going to set the location. Um, and I'm going to do Kansas City. You can set it for wherever you are. And then I am going, I think I chose it. Yeah, I did. And then you'll see it down here, see, Kansas City, Missouri. And then I am going to um, pull up the date and time so I can move those back and forward. And I'm also going to set the search window for the moon. Okay. Um, so let me just see. All right. So we're going to go back a couple of days. It says that it's tracking a star. <laughs> of course it is. Let me go forward to during the day when the moon would actually be out. See, there's the moon right there. So now we're tracking the moon. Um, if you look right here, over on the side, it tells you a bunch of things about the moon. So here we are on the 17th day of February. You can see that right here. Should probably just highlight some of these things for you. So we're on the 17th day. This is the month of February. This is the year 2023, just in case you're not accustomed to using this. And then um, here is where I'm looking. It says that the moon is currently illuminated 10.7%. So that's where we are. So I'm gonna go back to the cursor. Um, 
since we have the moon selected, I'm going to come up here and hit the ocular just so you can see a close up. So this is an approximation of what you would see in the sky um, when the moon is at this point of illumination. Okay, just to show that to you. So like I said, we're on the 17th. So now let's go ahead and go forward. And we'll go forward by the hour because I want you to watch the sun. The sun is over here right now. And I want you to watch the sun. I'm going to go ahead and just clean the screen up. Okay. I might just leave that there, though, so that we can pay attention to where that is. All right. Um, so we're going to move. Oops, I moved a whole day. I meant to move by hour. So these are the hours right here. So it's 8 o'clock, almost 9 o'clock in the morning at this point. We'll just take that to zero just to make this easy for us. Okay. So... Now we're at 9 o'clock in the morning. And watch. I want you to see the sun. See how the moon is right here in the middle of the screen. And the sun is going to make an arc over the moon. Watch what happens. And this is the 17th, which would be... And there goes the moon already. The sun's not even down yet. All right. So now we're going to keep going. The moon is now down to 4.7%. Here's the moon. The sun's about to come up right here. This is in the, in the east. See, we're in the corridor between east and southeast. Okay, this is about 7 o'clock in the morning. Now watch. Here comes the sun. It's going to go around the moon. The moon's already down. Here comes the sun following it. All right. And now the moon is at 3%, 2%. We'll go through the night. This is the 19th. So that is today. This is um, the Sabbath. Okay. The moon. Okay. So here's the sun rising. See, it's still sitting at 1%. Here's the moon. Here's the sun. They're coming up together. This, the sun is now going to come around the moon again. And the moon's already down. And here comes the sun right behind it. Okay. Um, the moon is at 0.4% at this point. So now it's going to go completely dark during the night tonight while it's hidden. And then it comes back up. Okay. And... Here's the moon again. Here's the sun. Now, if we look at the ocular, we really cannot see it. I mean, there seems to be some tiny, tiny glow here, but I do not think we can see that with the naked eye. It's at 0.4% at this point. Um, all right, so there's the sun coming around the moon, and the sun is shooting down, and the moon is following right on its heels. The moon is now at 0.8%. Now, what I've noticed is that until the moon gets to 1%, you're not going to be able to see it with the naked eye. So we probably won't be able to see it. So this will not be considered the new moon on the 20th. Um, instead, so this is the day after the Sabbath, so this would be Monday. Um, but instead, if you watch, we're going to have to go ahead and, whoops, I went too far. We're going to have to go ahead and let it go under again and disappear for the night. It's now at 2.7%. Here it is right here. And so now let's get towards the evening again. Once again, there's the sun. The moon is following the sun now. Do you see that? It's up for a little bit longer in the night sky. Here it is. It is sitting at 4.2% and will definitely be visible. Chomp. See this little crescent right here so um it looks to me like the new moon is going to occur or it's um on the 21st day so that will be tuesday okay and then let me show you how that works on the calendar real quick so i'll just do alt tab to get back over to hear where we were looking at the calendar, okay? So this is what I said. So see, you have Sabbath right here. 
This is today, the 19th day of February, but the 29th day of the lunation. Okay, tomorrow will be day, um, Monday will be day 30, um, which um, we won't see the moon, I do not believe. So the new moon day will actually be the following day. So this will have been a 30 day cycle. Here is day one. Okay, of the new cycle right here. It'll be Tuesday the 21st. And then if we just go ahead and let me just get rid of these marks so we can move on. If we go down here. Oops, I thought I did it. There it is. Um, so if we go down here, so this was the 28th of... February. Okay, so that was the first Sabbath. So just prior to that, this was if you we were back up one, you would see the new moon. So I'll go back up. See, here's new moon. 28th will be the first Sabbath. Okay, 28th. And then we have one, two, three, four Sabbaths. And then immediately after that Sabbath, we look for the new moon. And I do believe it is going to occur on the very next day. And we'll actually go look at that real quick in Stellarium. So this is March. 21st going into the 22nd and the um, the cool thing is that that will then be the first day of the new year that's Aviv 1 okay that'll be the first new moon of the year so let's just go and look and see if I'm right if it's the 22nd of March okay so let's just go back to Stellarium and we are now going to change we're going to come out of ocular mode and we are going to change to March and I'm going to go back to like the 19th so we can watch this happen. All right, so um, the illumination as of the 20th, the illumination is right here, is sitting at 3%. Okay, so it's still going dark. Let's see. And we are on the day of the 20th. We're now down to 1.7%, 1.3%. See how the sun, do you see that pattern? Do you see how the sun is going around the moon? I find this fascinating. See that? And then the moon went down first. Okay. So um, now let's go to through the night. Okay. And it's come back up. This is the 21st. And then we're going to come around. And the sun went down. The moon is right on its heels. The moon is at this point sitting at 0.1%. And so then we'll go through the night. And we're going to come up and see here the moon is still in the sky. It's sitting at 2%. This is March 22nd. Is that the day we said we were looking for? There's that little crescent. Let's hit Alt-Tab. And we were looking for oh, um, March 22nd. Yep. So um, that seems to be the day that we are going to have a visible new moon. I mean, just barely visible, but it, it is visible. Um, okay. So I guess I'll see you on the next video.